In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to remove the Powered by WordPress words that are at the bottom of your WordPress site and customize your footer. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is simply go to your WordPress dashboard. Now, before I show you how to edit the footer, if we go to the actual site here, you'll notice that at the very bottom here, it says proudly powered by WordPress. So I'm gonna show you how to remove that and add your own company name right here. To do this, you're going to go to Appearance and Editor. Now, for some of you, you will be able to automatically update and edit these files. If you are unable to do this and you click on Footer here, you will need to make this specific file writable. And the way you do that is to log into your FTP program Log into your website and locate your WordPress theme files. Go under WP-Content, go under Themes, find the specific theme, and in the main root folder, you're gonna find that specific file. That's footer.php. If you change the file permissions to 777, you'll be able to edit that file. Now, in the specific footer.php file, the location of the proudly powered by WordPress is right here. Now, if we go to the live site, you can notice that this is a clickable link. So basically, this right here is the actual code. If we remove this, the stuff on the front page will disappear. Now, feel free to pause this video if you need to look for the code and make sure that you have seen this exact piece of code. Now, if you wanna make this link clickable, like a hyperlinked link, then you'll basically need to follow the basic HTML code. But if you simply want to make it so It just has your company name, like for example, copyright 2013, your company name.com. You can simply replace that code that I highlighted and click on update file. And if we go back to the main site, you can see it has been replaced with that information. Now, if you want to make it clickable, you can make it clickable. You would just have to go back here and create a hyperlink, which is a href equals this here and surround the text with this here. And you can just enter a link or we'll just enter our site link here and click on update file, refresh the page on the live site. And as you can see here, it clicks and it goes back to our main homepage. So as you can see, very, very easy to do. Simply highlight that code that I showed you, replace it with your company name or make a hyperlink and feel free to pause this video if you need to copy the code or anything like that. And of course, if you're done and you're not going to be editing your footer.php file, I would recommend going back to your FTP program, changing the file permissions oops, to 755. This way you protect yourself from possible security breaches. So if I refresh the page here, this file is no longer editable. And that's it.